A beautiful teaching often shared in Buddhist communities supports us in placing race in a social context. It's called the Two Truths Doctrine, and it describes two realities in which we all live, ultimate reality and relative reality. Simply stated, in relative reality, we are some bodies, formed, habituated, ego-driven, and relating to life through concepts. In ultimate reality, we are no bodies, formless, empty of self, and eternal. In relative reality, I am a woman, African-American, lesbian, great-grandmother, artist, and elder. However, in ultimate reality, I'm none of these things. I am beyond conception. I am awareness dancing with the karmic rhythms of life. In ultimate reality, there is neither race nor a reason to suffer. We are undivided and beyond definition. But in relative reality, we're all in considerable pain, as racially diverse beings driven by fear, hatred, greed, and delusion. In relative reality, language is commonly how we relate. Talking about race is messy because it brings to light our racial beliefs and values expressed in ignorance, innocence, and righteousness. Many of us show up with good intentions, but are braced, bruised, and afraid. We put our foot in our mouth. We get scared, become frustrated or belligerent, or just shut down. We feel unclear, unskilled, angry, and cautious. Our mind plays habit songs that get in the way of our ability to connect and be open to what's right here. For example, the following comments are common narratives expressed from participants in the Mindful of Race training. I don't see color. Aren't we all the same? Race is an illusion. Why are people of color so attached to this concept? Let it go. I'll just listen. I know I have a lot to learn. Besides, I'm likely to say something stupid and get nailed again. I don't know what I don't know. People of color need to teach me about race. Tell me what to do. Why are people of color so angry with me? I wasn't living at the time. I don't know how to have this conversation without feeling blamed, guilty, frustrated, or angry. I'm oppressed in other ways, so I know what it feels like to be a person of color. We can't really talk about race because there aren't enough people of color in the room. People of color commonly say, Right, we're going to talk about race. This means that, in addition to being disturbed by white people's ignorance, I'm going to have to teach white folks what they choose to deny knowing. Amnesia of whiteness.